Hi, I'm Rhonda Merrifield from Roosevelt Elementary, and I'm here today to share with you the, the plan that we have put together to, to build layers of protection in our daily routines. If you were with us last year, you remember our last Reveille, we talked about a quote that Theodore Roosevelt that said, do what you can with what you have where you are. And that is what we are really going to try to do this year. I want to share with you today the layers of protection that we have built into our daily routines. We've worked hard on these a group, as a group to continue to provide a great education for your child while trying to figure out how to keep them the safest. We're going to need a lot of your support and help. And we also need a lot of patience because we know that everything is going to be fluid and will change as we go along throughout the year. The first thing that we want to focus on at Roosevelt are the healthy lifestyle practices. I want to go through those. There are five of those. We will work on a common language. We'll be sending things home for you as families to practice and to talk about and also to work on. We want you to know exactly what we're talking about. There are five of those practices, proper hand washing and hand sanitizing, coughing and sneezing properly, social distancing, exercise and sleep, hydration and nutrition. We will be talking about the many facets of these practices that help your child keep themselves safe and help you as a family stay safe. I know many of you are wondering about what will the beginning of our day look like. Reveille, to the best of our ability, will be held outside in the clean, fresh air. We will be holding it on the blacktop. Your child will be assigned a spot to go once they have been screened and checked in at the given locations. There will be three locations, the north, on the north side of the building on Poplar Street, in the Circle Driveway, and on the front, on the south side of the school, at the bus stop. Student, students will report daily to their check-in. All students will be screened for temperature checks daily. Screeners will be wearing face masks and shields to temp check students. Kindergarten students will be met by an adult at their car, at least at the beginning of the year until they get very familiar with the process. Only students can be in the health screening lines utilizing social distancing until they are temp screened. I know that's hard to think of parents, but we need to do whatever we can to keep our children safe. And that mean, may mean us building a little more independence in our students so we don't expose other students to the virus. Once students are cleared, they will apply hand sanitizer and a report to their assigned spot on the blacktop or go pick up their breakfast and come back to their assigned spot. At completion of the flag salute, students will enter the building with their teachers. In inclement weather, we will require students check, to be checked in at their assigned doors and they will then go to their classroom. Eight o'clock students or students who are tardy, the parents will need to call the office. Someone will need to come out of the office and meet them at the front door, temp screen the student, and then have the parents sign them in. Please help us with that. If we can get all of our students there early, it's going to go much smoother. But if your child is late, just give us a call and someone will be glad to meet you out the front door. Students with a fever will immediately be asked to put on a face covering. Then they will be taken to the isolation room within the office. We will contact parents and when parents arrive, we will bring the student to the front door to meet the parent. Please help us in this process because our goal is to expose as few a people as possible. One of the things we're doing within the school is setting travel patterns. Your child will enter and exit the same door every day, all day long, no matter what they're going to outside of the classroom. Classes will enter and exit the building only through the assigned door. Lockers and restrooms are assigned utilizing social distancing with travel patterns. PE classes will be outside every day. Classrooms and specials teachers will exchange students on the playground. During inclement weather, the PE will be in the gym utilizing social distancing practices and travel patterns. Art will be delivered through technology or a project done outdoors. Music will be offered in the classroom and in music room with appropriate social distancing marked and sanitizing routines enforced. Supplies are a super spreader in schools, so every individual student will have their own supplies. No sharing will be allowed. Water bottles are important for hydration of students, but no water fountains will be allowed. 
So we need your child to bring a water bottle back and forth from home on a daily basis. Fish folders have often been a source of communication that we utilize every day at Roosevelt. This year, we will be sending fish folders, assignments, and graded papers or graded projects home one day a week. Lunch, breakfast, and recess is a big question for everyone. We know that Teddy Roosevelt loved the outdoors, and so we are going to take advantage of the healthy outdoors as much as possible. First thing you should know that every day your student will be escorted to and from the playground by their teacher. They will have, once again, that travel pattern. They will have that one door that they go in and out of all day long. Students, during inclement weather days, students will, we will go to a floating schedule where students will come in. There'll be two seat spacing. There will also be some students eat in the classroom. We've scheduled it where students will not be passing one another in the halls. We also have built in time for there to be adequate sanitation between classes, just as an extra protective measure. What about those library books that kids have been missing so much? How do we handle the library books? One of the practices that our librarian is going to implement is she will be bringing books to the students in their classroom and giving them an opportunity to choose. They also will be able to request books from their teacher, from the librarian. I'm not sure what her system will be, but please let your student know if there's a specific book they want, they will be able to contact the librarian. And all books, once they are returned, will be stored on in boxes for 72 hours before replaced on the library shelves. We hope that this practice will continue to be one more layer of protection for our students. Small group instruction is very important. We will use a combination of face coverings, shields, and plexiglass. This is also an opportunity for students to have a chance to work together, and we know that's important. It may be a time when face coverings are required for students within the classroom so they can have discussions and work together. The hardest part for parents may be the visitor's rule. At this time, only required meetings and for visitation will be allowed. Anyone who comes into the building will be temp checked and asked to put on a face covering. We're doing this to protect our students. I know it seems unfriendly, but you have to know the ultimate goal is to keep our students in school. At the end of the day, your student will walk out the same door they walked in. At 325, the, at 325, students will exit the building according to their grade levels and their assigned doors. They will be picked up at the same location they were dropped off in the morning. As families, please arrange, if you have multiple children, a spot for them to meet their siblings so they can all go to meet you or walk home together. And early checkouts need to be arranged by 245 to limit increased contact at the end of the day. Once again, I want to wrap up with reminding you that students will be asked to hand sanitize in and out of classrooms. That's just building an extra layer of protection on their hands. They also, students will also have an active role in sanitizing desks and other surfaces in their daily routines. If we all don't row, the boat won't grow, and we're going to have to all work together to keep our spaces as clean as possible. In wrapping this information up, I want to encourage all of you to prepare your students. They may see teachers in face coverings. They may see other students in face coverings. Help them not to be afraid. Help them to be comfortable with that. If your child wants to wear a face covering all day long, that is fine. Let us know so we can help them be successful with that. But the most important part is we all have to work together and prepare our students for whatever the case may be, to not be afraid, but to be respectful of what they need to do to keep themselves healthy and to keep others healthy. The district is providing a net gaiter for everyone, so every child will have the availability of the net gaiter. But if your child wants to wear something different, that is not a problem. We just need to all work together to have a healthy, safe year and be flexible so we can make the changes when we know that changes are going to be necessary. Hope to see you soon at Roosevelt. Thank you.